last time we began looking at this file, <clears throat> we uploaded the <clears throat> bike share uh, CSV file, and we said that we can use this code, the read.csv, and then file that choose. If we run this, as I mentioned last time, uh, you'll be uh, a window like this will open uh, where we can choose the, the uh, data that we that we want to use for that we want to upload. So I will not upload this because I have done I have done so. Okay, so in our in my environment window, I have already the bike share consisting of 731 observations. Okay, if I click this, okay, let me click this. Okay, it will appear here. Okay, so these are the variables that we were looking at. Okay, and then we'll do some manipulation <clears throat> and then we'll work on some ggplot with this. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> All right, so just uh, quickly we can look at the summary of bike share. So for the others here, it actually does not have any meaning because they're just actually uh, like this instant. This is just an ID. So the first quartile, the five number summaries here do not actually entail any meaning. Also, there are some other variables here that, that can be construed as, uh, that be, can be considered as factors. For example, holiday, minimum of zero, maximum of one. So the uh, this, uh, summaries do not actually have any meaning at all. <clears throat> all right. So we can also get, look at the structure of our data, of our data frame. We can use the glimpse or the STR, okay? You know that this is just, just the same as STR bike share. Okay. So I prefer the glimpse. Uh, where is this? Uh, but where, where is this function coming from, class? From which, uh, from which a package is this coming from? Anyone? Where is the glimpse function coming from? From what package is that coming from? Deployer. Yes, correct. Thank you. So that's from deployer or deploy R. Others uh, pronounce it as deploy R. Others pronounce it as deployer. So doesn't uh, doesn't matter, guys, how we pronounce it. So glimpse is from the deployer package. So this will not run if we did not uh, require uh, access the uh, package dep deployer. Okay. So let's run this. So we can see the structure here of our data frame. So instant, this is just our ID. Uh, some are integers. Season, for example, season uh, has four, one, two, three, four. And it's not really a, an integer. It's uh, really more of a factor. Okay, and then we'll work on that later on when we uh, do some more statistical analysis because some variables have to be properly classified. So instead of it being an integer, it should appear as a factor, for example. Okay, also uh, season and uh, year, there's another one here, year, where's the year? Okay, year, this refers to 2011 and 2012. Okay, so, but it's uh, it's categorized as a, an integer. Okay. And then we have also here. This is the uh, uh, this is the uh, record of sales for the bike rentals. All right. Uh, by the way, there's another variable here. The temp. This, according to the met metadata or information about the data, this is normalized centigrade. So we will convert this so that it it's uh, it's the correct value. 
So that's the first thing we're going to do here. Okay, the first thing is to, uh, did we do this last time, guys? Did we reach this point? Could I have your feedback, please? If we reach uh, this point where we rename the count column to sales. May I know, guys, if uh, we reach that, that point? Nabot ba natin to? Yung rename. <clears throat> I don't think so, sir. I'm there. Okay, sige. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, uh, one uh, one of our one of uh, the things that we need to do or actually we we don't need to do this, but I just want to replace the variable name the count it's not it's not intuitive uh, let's rename it with a variable that that uh, that best describes the that the values there because that column that variable is really the sales of bike rentals okay so let's rename it guys so here we're creating an object called bike share okay and it's coming from it's it's coming from bike share itself so bike share and then we rename Okay, remember guys, there are, this is coming from uh, DeepLyR also, and remember that there are many functions that we can use in DeepLyR, which we're going to learn the next few weeks, which helps us, uh, which helps us uh, slice and dice and, uh, and uh, subset our data frame. So we're creating an object called uh, sales. It's actually a variable. What I meant was uh, variable, and it's uh, it's supposed to replace the count variable name. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. And let's ask R to generate the first six observations. Okay, so we have this, the first six observations, and we notice that the count variable has been replaced by sales. Okay. Then we're also going to change the temperature. We're going to convert it by multiplying this by 100. So that's the next thing that we're going to do. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm sorry, it was the first one. I, said, I'm, I missed this one. So bike share, then we create a variable called temp C. Okay, temp, temperature centigrade. And then this is also coming from the bike share, then a dollar temp, which means that that's the variable. <clears throat> then we multiply it by 100. So we multiply it by 100 in order to, and uh, we create a new variable called temp C, which came from your temp multiplied by 100. So let's run this. Okay, so these are the first six observations. So we have now our temperature, temp C, okay, temp C, and we also have our sales here. Okay, any questions so far, guys? Let me pause for a while. Any questions? Clear, clear, ba, so far? Okay, thank you. Salamat, huh? Thank you. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay. Then, uh, we have done this already. We have replaced our variable count with sales. Then next, we're going to plot. We're going to generate a scatter plot for sales and temperature C. So far, guys, we have learned how to plot uh, scatter plot using the geom point. But now let's uh, first uh, learn how to plot this using the <clears throat> base R. Okay, so let's let's uh, learn about the plot function. Let's just use the uh, console. So question mark plot. Okay, control enter. Okay. 
doing. So the plot function, guys, can be found in <clears throat> two packages. Uh, first is the uh, graphics package, and another one from the base uh, base R package. So let's click this uh, gene generic XY plotting from the base R package. Okay. So what's this function all about? plot from the base R package. So it's a generic function for plotting of R objects. For simple scatter plots, okay, that's the default. If we use the plot function, the default is, uh, the default is uh, it will plot a uh, scatter plot. But you can also plot uh, many other R objects using the, the plot function. Okay, so here are some information about the function. The first that you have to mention is the x, okay, the coordinate points in the x axis. And then we have the y. And then after that, you have uh, several other uh, parameters, okay, pending type, pending p for points. So this is the default, kung hindi natin ilagay automatically magpipi siya for points. No? And there are other options here, L for lines, B for both, etc. And then you can also do the uh, titling. You can define the, the uh, main plot with the main. So this is the overall title, a subtitle, uh, label for the X axis, Y axis, and then the aspect ratio. You can change the X aspect ratio, which is the ratio of the length or the height to the width of the plot. Okay, we can look at several examples here. Okay, so may mga examples dito, no? We can copy this, for example, or this. Okay, so we copy natin to. Let's copy this, ito, example na to. Control C, and then let's just run it here in our console. Control B. Okay, could you kindly run this, guys? And Pakichat ko nagranto, no? Pakichat nga guys, ko nagrant tong chunk of code na to. You could, have, you could have copied it here sa, sa script window natin by inserting a code chunk or just run it here in our console. Nagran ba? Okay, good. Thank you, Bonito. How about the rest, guys? Nagran ba siya? Highlight this. Control Enter. Okay, so nagran siya sa akin, ano? It's actually a combination of a lowest and a scatter plot. Okay, thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you, Miko. Yung, yung iba, guys, nag-run ba? Paki-feedback na. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Inigo. Okay, so I hope the rest are also following along. Okay. Pag hindi siya nag guys, kasi ano yung equivalent ng require? Anyone? What's the equivalent function for require? This is another way to do the anong function. Plus, ano yung equivalent function ng require? Ano 
Uh, letter L siya, letter L. Anyone? Require is similar to Andyan, ginamit natin guys ngayon. Library, sir? Yeah, library. It's the same as library. So either library or require, pareho lang yun. No? So kung hindi gumana ito sa pagplat nyo, it's most probably hindi pa naka-install yung stats o yung graphics. So you have to install that first. Okay. Pakicheck nga guys, uh, packages nyo. Tingnan natin kung naka, ano, kung automatically... Uh, I'm not sure if this is already part of the base R package. But you can check this. Uh, graphics. Okay, you can, so graphics guys, you can type graphics here. Enter. Give it uh, some time. So does, does it appear? Okay, just graphics. Okay, so on graph ito, no? The R graphics package here. Did it appear, guys? Okay. Pati yung cars, no? Uh, cars is a data set kasi. No? Okay, so lowest, this is just the localized weighted uh, scatter plot smoothing. So we'll discuss this in greater detail later. So back to back to the plots. So ito yung guys yung ano. Ito yung scatter plot. Kasi di ba pinaplot natin si ano si cars. Hmm? Pinaplot na si cars. So yung nasa y axis si distance, nasa x axis si speed. Ang default niya yung scatter plot. And then we also included lines yung lowest ng cars. Yung lowest is localized uh, weighted scatter plot smoothing. So it's like a regression line, kaso smooth siya. Hindi siya yung straight line ng regression line. Okay, so let me just uh, exit. Close that. Okay, it's al always helpful, guys, to uh, when, you, when you're working with the particular function and you're not very familiar with that, makakatuloy yung help function ni R. No? Ang ng tulong niya. Okay, so we were here. Sabi natin, ang next na gagawin natin is to generate a scatter plot for sales and temp temperature C. So I know guys, wala pang answer yan. So anyway, i-explain ko na muna to, no? Okay, so the function is plot. Control C. Okay. Let's plot it here in our console. Plot. So we have to define the x. The x-axis is our temperature, C, and then the y-axis is our temperature, sales. Okay, let, let's run this. <clears throat> it will run. No? Okay, it will run. So print up natin si, si temperature, C, sa x-axis, but you see uh, sales sa uh, y-axis. So sabi, we said, guys, that if we don't identify the type of plot, it will, uh, it will default into a, a scatter plot. That's shown in the scatter plot here. Now, will this run, guys, without the x is equal to and y is equal to? Will this run without them? <coughs> Try not them, guys. If we don't include the x, and the y-axis, control c control b then let me just remove this. Remove. If you don't include the x and the y, so let me remove this. Let me see if this will run. control enter Okay, did it run, guys? Sa inyo, nag-run ba siya? Pa 
pake feedback lang ha, please. Okay, thank you, Juanito. Thank you. Uh, Inigo, Miguel. Yung iba, guys. Pakichat naman kung nag-run. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you, James. Okay, I hope the others are following along. If you have questions, please feel free to uh, to ask either chat or unmute yourself. Now, another question is, will this work if... Control C, let's... Let's try this. Will this work if we don't identify the data frame from, from which the uh, variable is coming from? How about this? Will this work? We know that the first value there is your x-axis, and the second value is your y-axis. But will that work, guys? Pakitray nga. Okay. No answer. Okay, thank you, James. No. The rest, nag-work ba sa inyo? Nag-work ba tong code na to? Okay. Okay, thank you, no? Alright. Dalawa lang yung ano. How about the others? I just want to see if you were able to run this. Okay. Okay, salamat. Okay, thank you. Uh, why, guys? Why didn't it run? Bakit nag-error tayo dito? Object temp C not found, di ba? Bakit? If you take a look at our objects here in our global environment, uh, you notice that there is no temp C nor sales. Kasi they're just, they're variables of your data frame bike share. Okay, so in order for us to plot this scatter plot using the plot function, kailangan naka identify yung data frame. Okay, now possible ba na magranto kahit wala hindi naka identify yung data frame? What do you think? Yes or no nga, guys? Possible ba na ma-plot pa rin natin yung scatter plot even if we did not include here the data frame bike share. Yes or no? Possible ba yan? Guess lang guys. Guess lang. What do you think? Pwede kaya natin ma-plot to? Kasi when we tried plotting it using just the temp C and sales, it did not plot because temp C was not found. It was not recognized. So is it still possible to do that? Okay. Uh, Inigo, how do you think we can plot that? You're correct, no? Pwede natin i-plot si, si temp C at saka si sales even without identifying the bike share. Uh, kaso nga lang, we, we have to do a an initial step, no? And that initial step is we have to attach. Okay, there's a function called attach. I-attach natin data frame natin. Yan. Pag in-attach natin data frame natin, X, uh, R will know that yung mga succeeding ano natin dito, which refers to certain variables, will be coming from bike share. So let's attach this. And then let's plot now. Control C, Control V. Okay. Now, after I attach bike share, notice that I don't have to put the bike share there sa variables natin. Okay? So, if I press Control Enter, delete ko muna to kasi nag-superimpose siya. Okay, take a look guys. Na-plot na siya. Hmm? Kahit na wala yung bike share dito dun sa data frame na magde-define ng variables natin. Okay? It has its advantages kasi if you're working on a project and then you're only using one specific data frame, then that's okay. Kasi clear naman na yun lang yung, 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 uh, ano, yung data frame na ginagamit natin. But if you're going to use other data frames or other or other uh, data, okay, medyo mahirap kung 
i-attach natin si bike share. Okay? So, it depends really on your particular use. Personally, for me, I'm not so fond of this. Kasi mas gusto ko pa rin nakikita yung ano, yung kung saan data frame siya galing. Okay? So, for example, inattach mo, tapos hindi mo na siya gagamitin. Kunyari, may iba ka ng data frame na gagamitin. All you have to do is detach it. No? Detach mo ulit siya. No? Para, uh, ibig sabihin nun, hindi na si bike share yung pinaka ginagamit natin na data frame. So, let me detach it, guys. Detach ko. Tapos, if I run this again, control C, control V. If I run this again, control enter, notice nag-error ulit siya, no? Kasi hindi na naman na-recognize si temp C at saka si sales. Okay. Let me pause for a while. Any questions? Okay. Or, clear ba so far? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. The rest, guys? Clear naman. Pakichat na lang or... Sorry guys ha, kung nagtatanong ako ng ganito kasi I just want to be assured that uh, I'm getting across. No? Importante kasi sa atin yun na naintindihan natin yung discussion natin. How about the rest guys? Clear so far yung attach at detach? I'll wait for your uh, response. Kung clear siya. Hello? Clear ba yung attach at saka detach? I would appreciate some feedback from you, guys. Any questions? Hmm. May anybody here? Isa pa lang sumagot kanina. Okay, I assume na lang na clear sa inyo. Ah. Uh, makakatunong guys din sa akin para ano, pag sumasagot kayo, pag nagtatanong ako. Kasi I would want to know if you're still there or uh, mahirap kasi nagla-lecture din na, ano, na uh, wala na palang wala na pala akong kausap. No? <laughs> okay, sige. Tuloy natin. No? Okay, now, uh, as to this question, what happens if X and Y are interchanged? What do you think will happen? Ang una kong pinasok dito si sales, tapos saka si temperature. Dapat, sorry ah, temperature si ito. What do you think will happen if I interchange? So that's very self-explanatory. Ang mangyayari, guys, Hello? Anyone? Okay, the graph will change. The scatter plot will change. Okay, temp C correct. Thank you. Sa so, tama ito, no? So si temp C siya yung magiging ano x-axis. And uh, temp C ang magiging uh, y-axis, no? So kasi yung no, mauuna siya yung ano siya yung x-axis. Then yung pangalawa siya yung y-axis. So if we plot this, let's just check. So enough, ang nasa x-axis natin ngayon yung sales, tapos yung nasa y-axis yung temp, temp C natin. Okay, so just be uh, careful guys kasi uh, Okay. Alright. So aside from, aside from uh, basic plot lang to, no, what we can do is we can also add X axis, Y axis uh, labels, no? and change the plot character. 
So singa, I'll give you, I'll give you uh, 30 seconds to one minute to try uh, to plot from here. Control C, Control D. Okay, include natin si x-axis, si y-axis, si main title. Okay, and then plot character natin is equal to 1. Remember guys, yung ano natin, yung plot natin. Okay. Ito diba dito sa base. Okay, it tells us naman guys na, oops, ang gali. Aha. Uh -huh. Base. Ito pala, sorry. Mali na pindot ko. Okay. Sabi natin yung syntax niya, yung x-axis muna, then y-axis, and then you can identify the type. Okay. Then dito may, ano pa, mayroong, ano, mayroong uh, main, subtitle, x-lab, y-lab, and then the aspect ratio. And it's all part of yung function natin ng plot. Hmm? x, comma, y, comma, and then dot, dot, dot. Yung ellipsis na to tells us that there are other elements that can be included in in uh, uh, x in the plot function so you guys i'll give you uh, i'll give you 30 seconds to complete this magdagdag tayo ng x axis uh, dito x axis y axis main title sige Okay, done guys. So let's just compare how you did it guys. There are several ways to do this. This can be one of them. So <clears throat> the same uh, function guys, the plot function. And then we have X is equal to the temperature. Y is equal to sales. Okay, and then we can identify the uh, X label temperature in C, the Y label is equal to sales. <clears throat> the main, <clears throat> it, it's up to you really how to uh, give it, give a title to it. I'm just putting here daily bike rentals by temperature. And then plot character is equal to one. So let's run this. Okay, as you can see, we have <clears throat> improved on the plot. We have given the Y axis a name, sales, and the X axis also a name, temperature in C, and gave it a title, main title to the plot. Okay, and then we also used uh, plot character one. Okay, PCH is equal to one. And PCH is equal to one are small uh, unfilled <clears throat> circles. Okay, any questions with this guys, with this code? 
we just highlighted it a bit. Okay, so we were using the plot function. Okay, there are, it can do uh, some basic uh, plots, but uh, it does not really compare with the ggplot for its flexibility and robustness. ggplot has a lot of, of, uh, at, uh, of uh, capability to give us better plots, but we just uh, use this to indicate that we can, if, uh, if the plot is quite simple, you can also use the plot function. Okay, any questions guys? So far clear ba tayo? Any questions with this code? Uh, of course, if we plot, if we uh, change this, let's say plot, uh, plot character 20. Okay, so bring plot character 20. Okay. Kung, if you recall guys, ito yung nakikita natin sa, sa ggplot. If you recall guys, nag like, yung point tayo, ganito yung, yung default na figure dun sa ggplot. That's plot character 20. Okay, so let me just... Uh, Sir, yes. What, what, what do you enter to change the type of the what the the type like um, instead of points? Kung gusto niyo line or b, like how do you enter the code? Akong line siya. Okay, yes. sige. That, that, let's try that, guys. No. So ang question dito, paano kung hindi kung hindi points, no? So di ba sabi natin this this can help us. Okay. Question mark plot. Control enter. Okay, dito sa guide ng plot. Okay, nakalagay dito. Okay, you, uh, it's always good to follow this, no? X, Y, and then you have type, no? Type is equal to P for points. Okay? Kasi hindi natin, uh, hindi natin linagay itong P for points kasi yun ang default, no? Okay, so let's, let's try, uh, sabihin natin L. Tingnan natin just for, for, uh, for examples purposes, no? So let's let's uh, after x and y let's put here type is equal to and then sabi dyan l no l okay let's see uh baka magko-conflict siya dito sa plot character na to but let's try first no? type is equal to l so that will be a line no? let's run this okay so kita niyo na pinag-connect connect niya yung mga line no? And as we learned before, guys, it's not good to use a uh, line graph for uh, for data that has no sequencing. Okay, so ito yun, no? Yan. So bali wala yung plot character dito. Kasi even if I remove this, i-remove ko siya, no? Tapos ilagay pa rin natin tong code natin. There. Nagla-run pa rin siya. So, uh, no walang value yung plot character is equal to 1 kasi we're using already a line here. Okay, and then if we say, dito nga sabi B for both, both line and plot, let's see. Okay, so ito, my dots na, okay, naroon pang lines. That's for both. Okay, so you can also explore the others. Pag H naman, guys, that's histogram. Kaso, kaso, remember, pag histogram, guys, paano ba siya? Okay, medyo, ang ginamit niya, guys, ang x-axis natin dito, yung ano, yung, yung ang sales, yung plinat niya, yung frequency, uh, high density to, na vertical lines. No? Okay, so did that answer your question? Nasa good main question na yan? Hello? Yes, po, sir. Okay, sige. Thank you. Sir, pero, uh, sorry, one more question. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, what exactly is the difference between ggplot and plot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Thank you, good question. Si plot, uh, the R started with plot muna. Nung wala pang ggplot, Ganito lang yun, no? Gan basic yung makukuha natin, ano? Basic yung makukuha natin plots. Okay. There are other, kasi kung titignan natin yung syntax niya, ito lang siya, yun. Okay. Very limited yung syntax niya. 
there is another plot function that's coming from graphics. Okay, mas mas powerful ng konti yon. Pero si ggplot kasi uh, layering na yun eh, no? It, it's uh, it's tremendously much much more powerful than the simple plot function. Kung si kanya katulad ng plot, hindi ka na makakagawa ng 3D dito, no? So let me just uh, quickly tingnan natin to, ah. Uh, but this is coming from another package. Pero sige, mamaya na yan. So, mamaya na lang, sorry. No? So, in, uh, in order to answer that, plot has its own capability to, <clears throat> to give us, uh, let's say, uh, generic, no? Generic, kaya ang tawag sa kanya, generic X and Y plotting. But it pales in comparison to ggplot. Kasi ang ggplot, guys, ang dami mong layers sa pwedeng ilagay. Which you cannot do in the simple plot function. Uh, remember, guys, yung plot, na function, this just came from the base R. Ang ibig sabihin ng base R, pag dinownload mo si R, kasama na siya doon, yung base package natin. Pero si ggplot2, you have to, uh, well, you have to first install the package and then get the, you know, get the, uh, uh, you can uh, make use of the uh, many features of ggplot2. Punta lang tayo, sandali sa help, ba? Aalala itong cheat sheet natin. Just to illustrate this, uh, my, you know, data visualization with ggplot2. Okay, so ipapakita sa atin ito. So there are a lot of features here which you cannot find in... Okay, andali. Okay, ito na. Yan. So this is the cheat sheet for ggplot2. So maraming attributes dito na two pages to, no? Okay. Maraming attributes dito which you cannot do in your in your simple plot function okay we have labels legends my 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 zooming facility patong ano si ggplot2 okay and and so on and dami and dami and ito mga ano lang to ah, basic pa lang to ah. okay and what's more uh, may maraming mga packages din na pwedeng gamitin with ggplot2 which reinforce reinforce it no so, for example, by next week, titignan natin yung Plotly. Makikita nyo guys na magiging interactive na yung plot natin. Kasi ang disadvantage lang din ni ggplot2, it's a static plot. Hindi siya interactive. Pero once you use ggplot2 with another package called Plotly, magiging interactive yung plot natin sa ggplot2, which you cannot do with plot, no? with the basic plot function. Okay. So yun ang pinaka difference yan. Talaga mas powerful si ano si ggplot2. Now why are we studying this? Para alam niyo lang guys na merong ano, merong if if you just want to do the basic plots and quickly, pwede naman plot plot lang kunyari if it's only a scatter plot, you can immediately uh, plot this kasi 'di ba paano natin plinat si scatter plot? Ito lang, x and y lang. Eh ang default kasi nito, remember, if we don't put this one, if I remove the type, no? I remove the type. Okay. Well, ito na. Ito na lang, ano? Dapat pala, temp C to. Sorry, temp C. Ito, guys. Ito lang, oh. I-run ko to. O, oh, diba? Scatter plot na yun. Just identify the X and the Y. And remember, guys, pag scatter plot, kailangan parehong quantitative variables. Okay? Uh, I hope that answered the question. Let's push. Okay, sige. Thank you. Now, just to give us more information about the scatter plot, uh, let's pakiharap nga po guys i ano na lang natin sa sa search engine natin okay let's copy that and okay ko lang sa search engine okay so we have here some uh, some useful information about the plot character oops ano ba no wala ba ako ng L dito yeah okay so just for the information of everyone okay so ito yung pch na part plot character so ito yung mga different types from 0 to 25 meron yeah. so yung ginagamit natin kanina one ito yun so you can use the 20 na my fill siya okay uh, so si 20 mas maliit ng konti kaysa kay Kay 1, no? Si 1 at saka si 16, parang pareho siya. 
So just so you understand that these are the different plot characters. Now it doesn't end at 25. Marami pa yan, no? <clears throat> it also follows the ASCII, ASCII uh, method, American Standard something, code something yata, uh, where a number refers to a particular symbol. So kunyari itong 32, guys, blanco yan. No? 33 is exclamation point. Okay? Kaya pag gamitin mong plot character, PCH, uh, open and close parenthesis, uh, uh, PCH is equal to 33, ito yung magiging ano, equivalent. No? So lahat ng mga to guys, ito yung equivalent nila sa plot character, which is ASCII. Okay, so ang mga letters from 65 up to 90, yung capital letters. Okay, tapos yung small letters, that's from... Uh, small letter, it's from 97 up to 122. Okay. Alright, tapos may iba pa yan, no? may iba pang ibang letters na coming from other symbols, no? itong 128 to 255, okay, etc. So yung plot character niyan, guys, maraming to pwedeng gamitin dyan if you're in particular need of a special character. Okay. Alright, so hindi lang yan 0 to 25. No? Marami pang pwedeng gamitin na special characters using the PCH, uh, uh, the plot character uh, function. Okay, so uh, let's go here now. Okay, ito. No? A, B line and lowest. Okay, so this is important for us as finance students. Pag A, B line guys, ano lang yan? Regression line. Okay, uh, I hope you recall in your previous subjects, magbukas lang ako sandali ng ano, ng kahit ano na lang, kahit uh, word. Okay, just to illustrate what uh, the AB line will do and also the lowest. Okay. Naka-on ba itong... Okay, so just to so for example, you're plotting. Yar pina plot natin, guys. You have your y variable and x variable, and let's suppose you do a scatter plot. Uh, later on, a rally natin to in greater detail. This is your scatter plot. You can generate a regression line. Okay, this is called the line of best fit. Yeah, this is your regression line, which I'm sure you have discussed in your other subjects. Okay, so that's the regression line, and the regression line will be okay, especially if there's really a, a pattern. Pero pag ganito na guys yung ano yung 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 data natin. Sorry about this. Pag yung data natin medyo Hindi natin parang parabolic na siyang ganyan. A regression line might not be a good um, estimator. Okay? So meron tayong tinatawag na lowest. Okay? And the lowest is actually a curve line. Yan. So this is your regression line, di ba? Or the line of best fit. And on the other hand, this is your others which spell it lowest. Okay, which is the more correct one. May iba kasi nakikita ko low, lowest. Okay, but it's really more lowest. Ano yung lowest? Localized. Localized. Weighted. Weighted. Scatter plot. smoothing. Okay, in other words guys, hindi siya straight line, it's it's a smooth line, no? Sinusundan niya yung behavior ng ng data natin. Okay, so we can we can do that guys. We can do that here. Okay, medyo ano tayo sa oras, ano? So let me hurry up a bit. Okay, so ipapakita ko na lang guys yung ano, sorry hindi ko na kayo mabibigyan ng ano. Ah. 
ng time to try it kasi medyo medyo may pagka complicated din no so you'll see here our plot function yung kanina ito no ito yung ginamit natin kanina okay and then nagdagdag tayo ng a, a layer yung ab line natin okay and then take note it's it has this function lm the lm function is your linear model lm is your linear model yan ang gagamitin natin sa regression linear model or linear linear model or linear method no uh, it's it's one of the two either linear model or linear method okay and then dito ilalagay natin si ang uh, ang linear regress kasi natin si y no linear regress natin si y on the temperature so let's change this dapat sorry temp si dapat yan okay so bike share sales regressed on bike share temperature okay so we we say we add a b line that's the regression line and then linear method okay, that will give us uh, this one parang ito no ito naman <clears throat> tapos yung isa ang ibibigay sa atin yung lowest so lines then lowest and then type temperature sito dapat yung x and then yung y then binago natin yung kulay si ab line ginawa natin blue si uh, lowest ginawa natin magenta or depends on you guys kung ano gusto niyo ilagay kung ano color okay sige let's run this let's run okay sandali ah may mali ako ab line so saan ang mali ko Ah, ito. Sorry. Temp C dapat to. Hindi nyo na-recognize. Na Temp C. Sales. Rentals. Okay. Temp C. Okay. So, correct na to. Alright. Yun, guys. Yun na nyo, no? Ito yung AB line natin, yung blue. Ito yung regression line. Tapos itong si lowest natin, sinundan niya yung, yung ano, yung, yung parang sinusundan niya yung distribution ng ano. It's actually a regression line kasi naka-smooth out siya. Hindi lang siya straight line. Okay? So let me flash again the code. Baka hindi nyo pa na nakokopy. Okay. Questions, guys? Clear ba so far? Okay, chat naman guys, kung clear. Uh, so that I, I can proceed immediately kung okay na. Bakit hindi ka lumalabas yung chat box? Okay. So far clear naman guys, pakichat na lang kung, kung okay tayo. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Inigo. Uh, how about the others? Na lumabas ba yung plot natin na may scatter plot? Tapos may linear tayo na AB line? Tapos may linear din tayo na lines? This time, lowest yung line na to. Paki, ano lang guys? Paki reply kung clear so far. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Migs. Okay, the rest, guys. Three na ba to? So, ito yung lowest natin, guys, yung magenta na to. No? And then, ito AB line natin. This is your regression line. Okay, uh, several weeks from now, guys, aaralin natin to Ano yung equation na to And then, ano interpretation yan, etc. <clears throat> As an application of our data science, data analysis. Okay, so, okay, may nag-chat pa. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for those who gave their feedback. <clears throat> okay, let's move on. <clears throat> okay, so let's, let's now uh, create an object called P1. 
Eh, ngayon gagamitin na natin si ggplot. ggplot, uh, ito yung tanong sa atin kanina. No? <clears throat> ano ba yung difference ni <clears throat> ng plot function at saka ng ggplot? Uh, mas flexible si ggplot at saka, as I said, mas maraming features tayong pwedeng mag magawa doon. So, we're creating an object called p1 and then it's ggplot. Uh, ang complete nito, di ba, data is equal to bike share and then mapping mapping is equal to a step then x muna, x is equal to, so temp c dapat to, tapos y, y is equal to. Okay. 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 So if we plot this guys, wala pang lalabas, remember, kasi wala pang geometric object na to. No? But let's first create this. Let's run this. Okay, and then what happened is that there's now an object called P1. It's a uh, list, no? Anong data type niya? It's a list. Okay, if we click this, yan, okay, lalabas dito. So, iba-iban laman niya, no? May facet, may labels, may theme, which tells us, guys, na itong, itong ggplot consisting of uh, your data and your mapping, maraming laman yan, no? Marami siyang laman. Okay, so let's, let me go back here. Okay, now, let's, uh, let's first create the scatter plot. Lagi lang ko dito ng comment. Create a scatter plot. Okay. So, di ba guys, P1, ito na yung P1, no? Andito na yung data, at saka andito na yung mapping. So, we can just layer P1 with J on point. Okay. I hope you recall na ito yung unang GG plot ko natin, di ba? May J on point tayo, may J on line, may J on his, may, uh, may J on box plot. Okay, my bar, my bar plot then yun yung five name uh, graphs natin. So let's run this. Okay. And then it will generate uh, a uh, geom point to us, a scatter plot. Okay, kasi ito yung unang ano natin, ito yung data natin at saka mapping. And then we added a geometric object to it, which is a geom point. Okay, this is just a brief review of what we have discussed before. Okay, and then we can also define kung ayaw natin yung PCH na, ano, ano, ano ba default nito guys? Tingnan natin ha. Uh, question mark, geom point. Let's see if uh, if it will give us the default kung anong class in yan. So this is your geom point. So, hindi nakalagay kung ano yung... Okay. It's used to create... Ayan. Ang default niya, guys, sa ligang scatter plot, no? Uh, and then... Hindi nakasabi dito, no? So, we notice that with just this uh, geom point, uh, with this function, naging ang default niya yung plot character na 20. Ba parang plot character 20 yun, eh. So, hindi siya nakasabi dito. Okay. So, anyway, let's let me continue. Okay. So, ito yung pwede pa natin mailagay sa ano, no? Sa, uh, as aesthetics for G yung point alpha, which we did before. Alpha, color, fill, etc. Some of these guys we already did before. Okay, dito naman, we can redefine the uh, define the plot character to be equal to 1. So, ito yung <clears throat> PCH1 natin, di ba? Or, <clears throat> instead of uh, plot, instead of PCH, PCH is equal to 1, we can also, control C, control B, we can use the shape function. So, instead of PCH, pwedeng shape, okay? Shape is equal to 1. Pareho lang yan. PCH or shape. So let me run this. Control enter. Okay, I have the same object. <clears throat> okay, so let's move on guys. Okay, sorry guys, I won't be uh, uh, in the interest of time. I'll just go through. I'll just go through this. Kasi uh, I would normally ask 
you to I'll give you one minute or two minutes to try it first. But apologies for this. So we can also make use of uh, the geom smooth. No? Okay, so let me explain what the geom smooth is all about. Okay, yung geom smooth guys, na natin na. Uh, it's always good practice to uh, question mark geom smooth. Okay, so ito siya, no? So, mapping, data, <clears throat> pag nilal natin yan, ibig sabihin, understood na ni, ni R kung sino yung data natin. Okay, and then, ito yung mga default niya. Okay, let me just uh, invite your attention to this one, guys. Itong SE. SE is standard error. Okay. And you have several examples here. <coughs> Uh, yung standard error guys, ito yung ano yung yung 95% confidence interval ng ano natin ng uh, approx or estimated values natin. So let me just run this. Tingnan natin na. So P1 plus meron tayong geom point. Alam natin 'yan, ito yung scatter plot natin. And then here you're adding a geom smooth. Okay? Ang geom smooth natin, nilagyan natin ng color na blue. Tapos, SE is equal to false. Okay, without no, without the confidence interval, so ilalagay natin tong SE is equal to false. Kasi, ang default niya guys, SE is equal to true. Ibig sabihin, pag hindi natin ilagay tong SE is equal to false, ipapakita niya yung confidence interval. Okay, but let's run this. Run natin, control enter. Okay, take a look at this, guys. So what do you have here? <clears throat> you have the scatter plot, diba? <clears throat> it's in geom point. And then you have another layer. This is your geom smooth. You recall what this geom smooth, smooth is? Diba yan yung ano, guys? What do you call that? Okay, chat, guys, or paki explain. Anong tawag natin dito? This is your... Regression, sir. Regression. Uh, what in particular? Yung regression natin kanina, AB line, di ba? Yung straight line. Ito yung lowest natin. Di ba? Yung lowest natin yung localized, weighted, scatter plot, smoothing. Ito yun. So yun ang default niya. Hindi natin dinefine kung anong klaseng G yung smooth, but automatically, yun ang dinefault niya. So next time, guys, pag nag, <coughs> nag G yung smooth kayo, Without you having to identify kung anong classing method yung ginamit, magdi-default yan sa lowest. And then, sinabi natin dito na standard error is equal to false. Okay. Now, if we want to put the uh, confidence interval, okay, pwede natin tanggalin si SE is equal to false. Pag tinanggal natin yan, guys, magdi-default siya. Ano yung default ng JM Smooth, guys? Ito. Ito yung default niya, SE is equal to true. So take a look at this code. I-run natin to, itong code na to. So meron tayong layer ng JOM point at saka meron tayong JOM smooth. Now, hindi natin sinabi kung anong method, pero alam natin na pag hindi natin sinabi yung method, ang default niya yung lowest. Okay? Hindi din natin sinabi yung standard error. Okay? Pag hindi natin sinabi yan, magdi-default siya na ilalagay yung standard error. So let's run this. Run. Okay, so makikita natin guys yung 95% confidence interval. <clears throat> so narrower yung band dito kasi by virtue of having <clears throat> uh, more data. No? Dito na mas konti yung data guys, sinan nyo nagwa-widen yung ano. Kasi mas ano yung uncertainty dito eh. Dito sa portions na to na mas konti yung mas sparse yung data. Dito sa mas maraming data, kikita natin na mas lower yung yung uh, confidence interval natin. Okay, any questions so far? Uh, pwede natin ilagay dito SE is equal to Okay. Uh, pag linagay natin yan, guys, pareho lang din yan. Kasi kahit natin hindi ilagay yan, <coughs> alam natin na default yan is equal to SE is equal to 2. So let me close, close this and then run this again. And we'll get the same answer.
Yan. Okay. So next. <clears throat> Sorry guys, medyo I have to hurry a bit kasi multa time na tayo. <clears throat> uh, okay. Instead of a smooth plot, guys, scatter plot uh, of a regression line. So ito guys yung ano yung yung regression line natin straight line. And the way to go about that is this one. J yung smooth method is equal to LM. <clears throat> so this will distinguish it from the lowest, no? Kasi sa lowest method non is equal to lowest. Pero hindi natin siya linalagay kasi at default na yun eh. Okay, so if we do this guys, J yung smooth method is equal to linear method, color is equal to blue and we run this, we'll now have this. <clears throat> okay, we'll have this and you notice na SE is equal to true tayo, no? kasi hindi natin linagay eh. <clears throat> Okay, if we remove it, if we add here SE is equal to false so, linagay natin dito, dito sa JM Smooth, S is equal to false. I-run natin to. X, run. Okay, hindi siya linalagay. No? It did not put here the confidence interval, the uh, uh, standard error. Pero pag linagay natin, either ilagay natin na true or we remove it and don't place anything, it will indicate the standard error. The confidence interval. There. Okay? Alright, then we can combine this. No? Combine natin siya, class. Ito. So here we're combining the J on point, plot character natin is equal to 1, plus, uh, take note guys, P1 pa rin tayo dito. No? So useful din tong P1 natin, especially kapag yun, hindi na mag-change mag yung data natin at saka yung mapping then it's advisable to use this. Tapos, layer ka nalang ng layer. Then, J yung smooth natin, method LM yung kanina, color red. <clears throat> then, J yung smooth, method is equal to lowest. Okay, or pag hindi natin linagay ito, guys, <clears throat> pag hindi natin linagay, magdi-default siya sa lowest. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, meron ba tayo mga expect na confidence interval dito? Class. Will we have confidence interval for both Smooth lines. Answer. Hello. Darum batay expect na confidence interval jan. Okay, yes. Thank you. Thank you, James. Yes, you're correct. Yes, kasi hindi natin linagay yung SE, no? Standard error. So let me run this. Run. Okay, so here you have a layer of the scatter plot. A layer of the regression line, a layer of the lowest. Okay? <clears throat> so, makikita natin dito guys yung power ni ano, no? Of course, we, we, we were able to do this also with the plot function. Nag-layer din tayo. Pero talaga mas logical kasi yung, ano, yung, yung syntax ng, ano, ng, ng ggplot. No? Okay, and then of course, you can still add other layers there. Many layers which you cannot find in the plot function. Okay, for this one, guys, we're asking, i-differentiate nga natin yung season by color. Uh, tingnan muna natin, guys, ano ba yung season natin? So, that's uh, summary. Tingnan natin, ha? Summary season. Summary natin si bike share pala. Sorry. Bike share, summary natin. Okay, then season is, asa na si season? Where is season? Ayan, season is here. Minimum, maximum. <clears throat> Ibig sabihin, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 siya. No? Ang value siya 1, 2, 3, 4. It, it stands for winter, uh, winter, I don't know. Huh? Uh, let's check na lang natin. Pero it's winter, spring, summer, or fall. I don't know which number refers to, to what number. <clears throat> but that's the, uh, those are the, uh, Kung tignan nyo guys yung metadata nito, uh, ano yung meta, metadata? Yung kung saan nang galing tong file na to, iba dito. Yan. Balikan ko nga lang ulit. It came from this, nung sa UCI. It's important guys, by the way, to, ito, 
to study the data, ayan o, season, winter, spring, summer, fall, tama ako. Winter is one, spring is two, summer is three, <clears throat> four is fall. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back to our code. Okay, how do we differentiate via, <clears throat> uh, via the season? Okay, so here is how we can do it. We can differentiate via the season by, <clears throat> okay, here, guys, by giving colors to your different seasons in your geom point. So, dito sabi natin, uh, PCH is equal to 1, and then color is equal to bike share, and then season. Okay, now, pag tanggalin natin yung bike share dito, hindi siya mag-work, no? Okay, kasi hindi maintindihan ni, ni R kung ano yung season na yan. So, pareho pa rin. Nabago lang guys, nagdagdagan lang natin na let, let's put coloring to your bike share. Okay, remember, ang coloring dito guys, yung, <clears throat> yung ano lang, yung, <clears throat> yung border niya, yung pabilog, no? Hindi yung fill. Okay, run natin to. Okay, take a look at this guys. Okay, what do you notice? <clears throat> Any conclusion we can derive out of this? Any conclusion na makikita natin dito, guys? So you now have four colors, di ba? <clears throat> Kasi four yung seasons natin. So we're able to differentiate, no? As a, kunyari, as, an, as a part of management, kunyari, tinatanong tayo, we're doing analysis of the company, anong sales bomb? Uh, malakas. Anong season ba malakas yung, ano, yung sales natin? What do you notice about the black ones? Uh, during low temperature, medyo mababa yung sales. No? So yun ang relationship nun. Pero ito naman green, guys. Matataas yung temperature. Matataas yung temperature and then they have the highest, higher sales. Okay? So mas mabenta pag summer, guys. Mas malalaki yung sales. Mas marami yung bumibili. Ngayon yung fall, yung blue, kasi pag ang lowest temperature, alam naman natin guys, winter. Tapos yung blue, fall. Okay. Medyo mat, may ano din na matataas. Tapos yung spring, yung red. So, scattered all throughout. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung range ng, ng temperature ng spring. May spring na 25 up to more than 75 spring pa lang yon <clears throat> and your the uh, the level of sales can be also very small here mababa yung sales tas meron ding halos kapareho lang kapag summer tapos yung summer guys yung range ng temperature niya uh, mga 50 plus lang so dito wala tayong makikitang summer dito na less than 50 kaya nakikita ko dito mukhang ano to mukhang uh, summer ni? Tapos yung hottest din dito, summer. Okay, so we're able to uh, distinguish or differentiate the sales using the, uh, uh, actually yung temperature, no? pero differentiated by the uh, uh, the season. Okay, so moving on, guys. Okay, can you do that? <clears throat> Can you do that using a uh, year? Kasi dalawang year, di ba? If you take a look at the metadata, sabi dito, ang year, ang year daw, 0, 2011, 1, 2012. <clears throat> so 0 and 1. But if, we're, if we try to differentiate, so pareho pa rin yung ano natin, yung chunk of code, chunk code natin, pero ang differentiator natin yung year, if we run this, okay, what will this tell us? Ang sabi, Error, colors, colors and codes as numbers must be positive. So, hindi na marerecognize yung zero. Okay? Kasi may zero tayo sa color. So, hindi natin pwede i-differentiate kasi yung year natin, zero and one. So, how do we remedy this? I-convert natin. Okay? Zero, one, pwede natin gawing one and two. And how do you do that? By, so we create an object here, positive year, okay? which is just the year in the bike share plus 1. So, dadagdagal na natin ng, ng 1 yun. Therefore, yung 0 magiging 1, 
yung 1 magiging 2. Okay, so let's run this. Run. Sinama natin yung head at saka tail. Okay. So here, your positive year. Okay, yung mga year natin na 0, naging 1 na dito. Tapos sa tail naman, sa tail, yung mga 1 na year, naging 2 na na positive year. Okay, so that's what we did uh, to convert yung 0 and 1 to 1 and 2. Okay, so when we when we uh, when we plot this now, okay, uh, dito, so we're now plotting this. Okay, pwede na to. No? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, can you comment on that, guys? What do you see here? <clears throat> ano yung black? Ano yung ano? Ano yung... Uh, Okay, assuming that black is 2011 and red is 2012. Which we can check anyway, no? Pwede naman natin ma-check. Okay, what, what can you say about the differentiation by year? Any comment, please? Any comment? Hello? Uh, anybody there, guys? I might have to check for Chat? Sales increased. Uh, what do you mean, James, by sales increased? So sales increased in 2012 since uh, the red, yeah. the ones in red are at the top. Yeah, correct. Good, James. Thank you. Huh? Thank you for your uh, for your insight. So you notice, guys, yung mga red, mga 2012 yan. Tapos yung mga, ano, yung mga... Uh, black, yan yung 2011. So for example, given the same temperature here, nari dito sa 50, notice natin na yung mga red, yung 2012, mas higher yung sales niya as compared to yung mga black dito. Same temperature yan, ha? Okay? Same, same temperature. So across all temperatures, okay, we see that sales in 2012 dominated 2011. So mas, mas nag-increase, no? nag-increase yung sales nila ng 2012 as compared to 2011 across all across all seasons no across all seasons okay what's good with ggplot too guys is you can also add the layer for seasons here so pwede yun. so i leave that as an exercise for you so bukan yun nga na para naka facet si year tapos si season din so parang dalawang information na makikita natin okay so let's continue guys here, we just add, yung kanyang nang ginawa natin sa plot, where we added the uh, labels, okay? Pwede din natin gawin dito sa uh, ggplot yun. Okay, so ang ginawa natin dito, nag-insert nag tayo ng panibagong layer, labs, labels. So we identify x is equal to, so, sorry, this is not Fahrenheit, this is centigrade. Okay, y is equal to sales. Title natin, so iba dun sa ano, ano, hindi main, no? Title is equal to daily by uh, rentals by temperature. Tapos pwede pa tayo maglagay ng subtitle, 2011 and 2012. And then we can also put a caption, okay? So this is our caption, okay? And then dito sa dulo, guys, meron tayong, this is another layer, which we're going to talk uh, about in greater detail next meeting, yung theme. Kasi if I... I do this, theme, then underscore. Yan, iba-ibang theme, guys. Ano? My black and white, merong classic, my dark, my, my uh, GET. No? I'm not so familiar with GET. GET, I haven't used that. No? Gray, nagamit ko na. Okay. So, many here, guys, nagamit ko na. Pero yung iba, hindi ko pa nagagamit. No? Okay. So, let's try first. Theme, classic. Theme, classic. Okay. So, let's run 
Let's see what happens in our plot. Okay, yeah. No? Okay, so here are our labels, y-axis, x-axis. This is our title. Okay, this is our subtitle. And my caption pa tayo sa ilalim. So pretty neat, no? And what's good about this, guys, which we cannot do in plot, is pwede natin baguhin yung theme. So yung classic, guys, it's white background, no? Tapos walang mga lines. Walang mga lines. And notice walang mga grids. Yun ang classic. Pag black and white naman, so let's replace this. Let's replace this by BW. BW. Okay, and then let's run this. Let's rerun this chunk. Okay, so si BW guys, halos pareho lang siya ng classic. Kaso may mga grids pa rin siya. No? May mga grid lines siya. Okay, so there are others. I want you to experiment on that. Kunyari, theme, underscore, underscore. Ano yung mga, pag dark naman guys, dark. Dark. Ayan. Okay, as the name suggests, medyo dark siya. I don't like the color. I don't like the color combination. So, ano pa ba? Underscore. Pwede kang mag-experiment, guys, no? Ayan. Et cetera. Minimal. Okay, pag minimal, atanggalin niya yung mga... Okay. Yan lang. No? Wala yung mga lines. Wala yung borders. Okay. Pero may mga, ano pa rin, vertical lines. Okay? So, uh, it's almost time, guys. I just want to... Okay. Uh, ano to? Ito, may konting ano lang. May konting... Uh, uh, this is coming from your uh, RGL. Okay, yung kaninang in-upload natin. You can also create uh, 3D plots. So, for example, ito. RGL natin plot three dimensional ang x natin is temp c sito ang uh, ang x lab natin temperature ang y ang y natin is sales ang y lab natin is sales and then my z tayo okay z is holiday okay so three dimensional ton so let's just quickly run this okay So, na, na ano yan siya, guys, na nagagalaw-galaw natin. Okay. So, meron, meron kayo nakikita dalawang, ano, ano, dalawang, dalawang set yan. Kasi yan yung mga, ano to, guys. Ano to. What do you think? This is your temperature. Asa hmm? may origin natin. Ito yung origin natin. Ito yung zero, zero. Hmm? So ito, habang while you're going to the right, your temperature is increasing. Hmm? While you're going here, okay, your sales is increasing. Tapos meron tayong vertical line. Ano to? So this is another layer. Ito yung mga, okay, with the holidays, ito yung mga, Walang holidays. I'm guessing, no? Pero most probably yun yun. No? Okay. Alright. So, uh, that's uh, one way to do your uh, 3D. No? So, this is another way. Okay. Sorry. Temp, temp C dapat ito. Temp C. X lab is equal to temperature. Uh, sales. Okay. And then year. By year naman to, no? Yung size, yung laki ng, ng ano natin. Ng plots. Okay, baka kaya ayaw. Lagyan ko nga yung page nyo. Like, share, x, x lab, y. Y lab, Z, year. Tama naman. Okay. Dito ba siya lumabas? Ito. 
Ayan, okay, move siya. Alright. So we can see guys, ito yung temperature. Nag-i-increase yung temperature. Nag-i-increase yung sales pabunta dito. And then year, okay, zero. This is 2011. And 12, uh, one dito, yung layer na to, this is 2012. Okay, so just, uh, uh, and pwede natin i-link yung RGL na to sa GG plot, which we cannot do in simple plot. Okay, so it's already time, guys. Uh, thank you so much for coming. I'll uh, post a recording of this. Okay, any questions? Okay, if there are no questions, thank you so much, guys. Have a safe uh, day ahead. No? Thank you, sir. Thank All you. All right, sige. Tuloy natin GG plot next week. Okay, yung magpapa-attendance. Sino may magpapa-attendance ba? Uh, uh, me, sir. Okay, sige. Dali. Can you see the screen? No, I don't think okay. so. Okay. Uh, family name, please. Del Pilar, sir. Del Pilar. Miko. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Miko. Thank you. Thank okay. you, sir. Okay. Anyone else?